Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at people reveal a rich kid conversation. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I worked with a guy at a grocery store who made over $600,000 a year. His grandparents left him a hefty trust fund with the stipulation that he had to have a job, which is why he worked at a grocery store. Dropped out of a nice college, because why do that when you have an easy job making cakes and still pull in that much money? His parents have multiple rental properties in his name as well. I gave him $20 in cash for his birthday. Since he wasn't allowed to have cash because he would just lose it and he laughed at my pitifully $20 said I want to see what my mom got me and shows me $2,000 in $100 bills because she thought the new design looked funny $2,000 as a gag gift well what did your dad get you oh he paid off my car whoa he just laughed at the $20. How could he? It's the thought that counts, okay? Because what if that person was only making $50 and he gave you that $20? When I was younger and in the car with my buddy's family, his mum accidentally locked the car with us still in it and his sister couldn't figure out how to get out. She never had to manually unlock a car door before. Oh, so she doesn't know how to like, what, pull that thing up or like, you know, just, you know do that little tab thing. Then again, there are like so many new designs coming out. I don't even know what new cars have for like the car locks now. <laughs> but that's honestly so crazy because that just means she doesn't have that knowledge. And what if she was locked in the car by herself? You know, that means she doesn't know how to get out. And now I'm just wondering about like all the other knowledges she's missing. Because of her lifestyle, I guess there are things that she doesn't have to do. So now I'm just kind of concerned like what if she has to do one of those things one day but she doesn't know how? Oh no. I once had a client in her late 60s who had been extremely rich her entire life to the point where she had no concept of doing anything for herself. Example, she never carries her own cell phone. Most of the time, her personal assistant carries it for her. But one day, we were at an event together without her assistant. So she just reached over and dropped her phone into my suit jacket's pocket. Every time it would ring, she would just reach in and grab it, then put it back in my pocket when she was done. This wasn't even something she thought about. If you were near her, you were working for her and your pockets were hers. Oh my gosh. So she just, you know, uses your pocket whenever she likes. <gasps> Wow, why doesn't she put it in her own pocket though? I'm so confused. Like that's like way more convenient. She doesn't have to like grab. Or maybe it's because her outfit doesn't have pockets. <laughs> that, wow. So she basically has like a person there just to put a phone in. Imagine if that's the only reason why she needs her personal assistant. Like she hires a person to wear a jacket just so she can put her phone in that jacket. That is pretty funny. The high school my husband went to had limited parking for students, so there was a lottery every year to see which seniors would get parking spaces and could drive to school. There was a story in the paper about how families were buying up houses near the school so the kids would have a place to park when they drove to school. They weren't living in these houses, mind you. They were just buying them so their kids could park in the driveways. What? They're just buying the house just for the driveway? Shook. One of my residents was a rich freshman from Rhode Island. He lives on an island and takes a ferry into town. <laughs> That's so crazy. What is going on? Anyways, his first week he asked if there was fresh water available in a shower. I didn't understand what he meant, but apparently he didn't like showering with city water and didn't realize it was everywhere he went. I was so shocked and didn't know what to say that I suggested he use water bottles to clean him. Yeah, he didn't last long. What? Wait, so what water does he use? Fresh water? What city water? Isn't that just like normal water? Like tap water? Or no? I'm confused. Wife went back to college, new city, didn't know anyone. Started a movie night thing to meet some people and build a social circle. I knew this one guy was from a rich family. His first night there, he's bragging to everyone who'll listen about this $30,000 truck his parents just bought him and telling everybody how awesome he is. After everything is done, we're collecting dishes in the kitchen and he walks over and following me to the kitchen, he walks in and puts his dish and silverware in the trash can. Hey man, what are you doing? I'm assuming he brain blanked for a second no big deal what give me the dishes don't throw them out it's a ceramic plate not a paper one why he asks obviously confused i'm going to wash it 
why he repeats now i'm confused so it'll be clean for next time oh like the dining hall oh okay sure he was gonna chuck out a ceramic plate <laughs> so, okay well it's obvious that he doesn't wash plates right <laughs> So I guess he's never ever washed plates before because he's like, why? Why would you even want to wash plates? You just throw them out. Does that mean every single time he just throws out his plates every time he's done eating? How many plates has this person wasted? Fraternity did a pledge event in which we were placed in a limo. No more friend. Wow, this is awesome. I've never been in a limo before. Rich kid friend, haven't you been to the airport? Oh... So I'm guessing every time they go to the airport, they have a limo and that's what they think everyone else does too. And this is why they see so differently, you know? I guess they think in their world, it's like the same with everyone else. I don't know. In my suite, most of my roommates had never done their own housework and generally seemed uncomfortable without some sort of maid. The solution, they paid other students to do their laundry for them. <laughs> wow. I'll be one of those students, honestly. I'd be like, yes, pay me to do your laundry. The girl I dated in college. I was planning to come visit her over winter break on the other side of the country when a snowstorm cancelled my flight. The airline was slammed and couldn't get me out there for about three days. Sucks, but whatever. However, she realised that there were flights available on other airlines the next day and encouraged me to just buy another ticket. She literally couldn't understand when I told her I couldn't afford to do this and that my parents wouldn't just pay for it either. Oh, so she was the rich kid and she was like, why? I don't understand. Just get another ticket. Just buy it. No big deal. That's honestly crazy to think about. Like something that's like a luxury to you is just something normal to them, you know? <sighs> a kid in my graduating high school class was very wealthy. His parents bought him a Land Rover when he was 16 and he crashed it into a school bus. They bought him another Land Rover and he lost it street racing. Guess what? They bought him a Mercedes. Bowels. Why does he keep crashing his cars though? <laughs> Come on. And why are his parents just feeding him new cars, you know? <laughs> I guess they're just so rich. They're just like, okay, here, take this, take this, take this, take this. That's honestly crazy because I feel like if someone who wasn't rich, their parents would be like, why did you do that? And not give them another car and, you know, make them work for it kind of thing, you know? <laughs> A girl posted about how it was the worst birthday of her life, followed up by the only bright side is my dad bought me a brand new Jeep and continued to complain about her terrible day. I didn't even get presents, okay? <laughs> I got a cake and I was so happy about that. <laughs> it's the little things in life, all right? One evening, she wanted to go to a club downtown and I said I couldn't go because I didn't have any money. She said I should come on anyway, so I figured she's footing the bill. When we got to the club and it's time to pay the cover at the door, she pays for herself and starts to walk in. I'm like, hey, I don't have any money. I can't get in. She comes back out and tells me to just put it on my credit card. But of course, I don't have one. Then she tells me she'll drive me to an ATM. But of course, I don't have a bank account because I'm broke. I'm standing there in the street with her, trying futilely to explain that I literally do not own any money. She could not grasp the concept. I ended up walking home and she went to the club. We did not last long. But like, he already told her that he didn't have any money and he couldn't go. Why did she tell him to come anyways? Like, what did she get when he was like, I have no money? She was like, stop joking. You have no money? What? Stop joking. Just go to an ATM and get it. Hey guys, please help. Which car should I get? I want a lot, but daddy will only buy me one. Well, that's tough. Yeah, very, very tough. Very tough. Tough. Friend asked me to help him do some in-home tech support for one of his clients. This client had a 24 hour on his premise security. You don't wander around in as much as escorted from place to place. Anyway, the first laptop is a brand new fully loaded MacBook Pro and needs to be configured for the home network. No biggie. Got the info I needed and set it up. Me and my shadow proceed to the second room. Again, I find a new brand new laptop. Same model as the first. After I am done with it, we are just about to walk out of the room and I catch a glimpse of two other laptops on the floor with junk piled on top of them. I inquire if I shall take care of them. My inquiry goes from me to security to the client and then back through the guard to me. Oh, you found them? We thought they were lost so we got new ones for the kids. It was just on the floor. <laughs> they didn't see that? It was just on the floor. How is someone that does not live there notice this but the person that lives there didn't know? <sighs> 
Wow, they got the new laptops instantly. That's crazy. Girl in my high school physics class offering her brand new iPhone to be destroyed in an experiment because my dad would just buy me a new one. She had it for like a week. Wow, so generous. <laughs> what kind of experiment though? Like what kind of experiment were they doing that they had to destroy a phone? Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.